Hello everybody! So I'm back and I am doing a Halloween tutorial. Um, I had, I only did one last year because that was what I was being for Halloween and I really didn't know what else to do. This is not what I'm being for Halloween, so this is just a random off the bat thing. Um, and as far as the costume goes, it's falling out. Um, I'll give you a couple, I'll explain a couple costume ideas at the end of the video. I know it doesn't look the best, but since this is not what I'm being, I'm not going to go out and buy a costume. Um, so this is kind of like a woodland fairy, you know, a very earthy, um, outdoorsy fairy, you know, that would live in the trees and stuff like that. So it's not going to be really like bright colors and really extravagant. It's more of like a, you know, down to earth type of thing. And it, it was just, I just thought of it randomly. I was thinking, hmm, I really need to film a Halloween tutorial. And then I picked up my Coastal Sense 88 palette and I was looking at the greens and I was like, I so should do some type of green fairy. Um, so this is what I got. Um, if you like it, then stay tuned. If not, then, um, I don't know. So anyways, uh, stay tuned if you want to find out how to do this. And I, I have more, um, Halloween tutorials coming out. So stay tuned for those. Alright, see you soon. The first thing you're going to want to do is put your hair back. It's no matter what you do with it. We're going to deal with it later. But we're going to start with the eyes. So the first thing we're going to do is just take some kind of primer um, to put on your eyes, especially when you're using dark colors and on Halloween. I'm just taking Elf's Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. Just put it all over the lid and underneath it. And then I'm taking NYX uh, Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. You can use the Black Bean one if you want a bit more of a darker eye because that will really bring out the darkness in it. This kind of lightens it up a little bit. So I'm going to put that on the eyelid. Now I'm going to take my Coastal Sense 88 palette. This is a matte one, but there's some shimmers in there. And we're going to be using the greens from here. We're going to be using this one. And we're going to put this all over the lid. Tap up any excess. And then we're going to take a um, crease brush. And I'm taking um, the Coastal Sense Emerald Isle Mica Sample. It's like this really dark green um, eyeshadow, and it's got like this really pretty um, shimmery iridescence to it. Sorry, my eyes are bothering me. Whenever you get stuff, um, stuff around your eyes, it kind of can bother. Them. So we're going to get some of that, tap off any excess. Put that in the crease. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of like take it over and start to draw kind of like a cat eye. Just kind of work it in. Okay, so that's done. Now we're going to go back into that color. And we're going to put that onto our eyelid again. We don't want to lose that color. And now we're going to take a lighter color, this color right here, above the original color. And we're going to put that in the middle of the lid just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Since it's a little bit lighter, put that just in the middle. And if you were right next to it, you can see that it kind of just like brightens up the area a little bit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put eyeliner on. And that is the foundation of this. So... Um, I can't really stay on for the entire thing because it would take like 10 minutes because this took me a little while. What we're going to do is just make a basic line, but make it thicker than you normally would. Not a cat eye, just thick. And then you're going to want to take a line out and then just make a design. With this one, all I did is just kind of like a tree. I just kind of brought out the branches at different sections. Um, so you can make up your own design. So I'm back and as you can see, I drew the eyeliner and then I drew the little design. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take an angled liner brush. We're going to take the color that we put in the middle of the eye, the one that we used to brighten up, and we're going to trace that over this. So it um, gives it kind of a green tint since this is black eyeliner. Um, the black is going to show through, but the green is kind of, so it's not going to be like a just a black. It's going to have some green dimension to it, if that makes any sense. We're just going to trace over that. My mirror is over here, so... And we're just going to start here. We're not going to do it on the eyelid because we want the black eyeliner to be on the eyelid. Ooh, it's kind of hard working on such a small desk. So I'm just going to like pat it over it. Be careful and make sure the eyeliner is not still wet because then you will have smearing and you'll have to do everything all over again. So there you go. Covered it in the green. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some false lashes. This is obviously optional, as is everything. Um, and I'm just taking the e.l.f. natural lash kit. And I already have one of the lashes on. I mean, it's not extremely dramatic. You can definitely tell they're there. Um, but it's not extremely dramatic. Um, so I'm taking the other one. And I'm not going to do this on camera because I am horrible at false eyelashes. Like, no lie. So as you can see, we have the eyelash on the other eye. I managed to get it on there. Um, the glue will dry clear, so don't worry about that. Um, I forgot a couple little things. Um, one thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take um, your eyeshadow brush, and you're going to want to take some kind of white um, white or creamish color. And I'm just using the uh, Sephora Aspen Summit. This is a shimmery white. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner. This will bright up our eyes since we have such a dark color. You can see it blended out a little bit. And we have such a dark color. We want just a little bit of eye brightening. As you can see, it kind of brights up the eye a little bit. And then we're going to take that angled liner brush again. This time we're going to get the darkest color that we use. And we're going to put this on the waterline. Um, or you can put it actually not right on the waterline, just kind of like in the lash line. So it's kind of by the waterline, but it's not the waterline, if that makes any sense. Here, I'll get, I'll show you. Err, I'm running out of space here. Um, so I'm just gonna like, kind of like in the lashes. Not on the waterline, but like in the lashes. And if you get some on the waterline, it's fine. I mean, it's not gonna hurt you. Just be careful. And it really depends on how sensitive your eyes are. If you have sensitive eyes, I wouldn't do this. I would just put it underneath the lash line like you normally would. So, there you go, just kind of, so you pretty much got your eyes completely um, green. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take, <laughs> head jerk, um, we're going to take that light green color that we put on here and that we put in the middle. We're going to put it in our eyebrows. I know that's kind of weird, but hey, you know, going to go all out. Now what we're going to do, this is a pain. It's going to take a while. I'm taking some rhinestones. They're just little rhinestones. And I have these really little green ones. They're really little light green ones. And I'm just going to put the rhinestones on. Um, I'm using eyelash glue. I'm just putting it on my hand. I'm going to take one of the stones and you just put it um, in there. And then you wait a couple seconds. And then you just put them where you want them. I'm putting them here. Kind of like the corners and at the edges. You can see. I'm not going to stay to show you obviously because it took like 10 minutes. So I'm going to be right back and do that. And I'll be back after. So, there you go. It's done. I put them all up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some foundation. And this, I haven't actually tried yet, so we're going to see if this <clears throat> excuse me, works. I'm going to take some foundation. I'm going to take a little bit of that um, really dark green eyeshadow. And I'm going to put that in the foundation. This is going to be interesting. Don't do it how I do it. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to put a little bit because I think I'm pretty sure a little, yeah, there we go. A little bit's going to go a long way. I'm just going to mix it in there. Going to make it kind of green. And it's going to give our skin a little bit of like a greenish color, obviously. See, a little bit grayish green. You can add some bright green if you want to. Bright green eyeshadow to it. Also, just kind of take a little bit. Um, I'm taking the Maybelline Dream Loose Blush in Peach Satin. We're going to put a little bit of that on our cheeks just, you know, to kind of warm the face up again just a little bit. We kind of want to keep it balanced. So, I'm just going to take um, my e.l.f. Lipstick in Runway Pink, which is just a really pretty kind of light pinkish color. It's kind of, it's a MAC Angel dupe. I'm going to just kind of. Make sure there's not too much lip conditioner on there. And then I'm going to put that on my lips. I'm going to take the Viva Glam Gaga lip gloss. And you can put a, maybe a teeny bit of green if you want to. Also. Sorry, got some on my shirt. Just a little bit. Um, and that is pretty much all for the face. I'll be back in just a second to kind of help you with costumes. 